Global Custodian has sat down with Jason Pierce to get an inside look on how the financial game has changed in the Middle East. The fly-in, fly-out model is under pressure. So there is more pressure from each of the major target countries for companies to show commitment to those markets by having a physical presence uh, within those markets. And now with these financial centers all having been created, there is the vehicle, there is the platform, there is the framework for those companies to set up legitimately. Pierce said companies must now have their presence in each of the three financial centers. So I think there's now a lot of pressure for companies if they want to take significant long-term capital from a market, then they need to have a physical presence in the key markets. And then secondly, if they intend to reinvest, then they need to have a local uh, presence in the market to be able to be credible and effective in investing regionally. And the markets are still open for change to occur. There is a considerable game on at the moment for people to establish themselves. So if they want to intermediate in regional capital moving regionally, then they need to have a strong, credible team of both originators, executioners, asset managers, relationship people in place on the ground. Peter said when forecasting the future, you must look ahead at least three to five years. I think it's a, it's a full-on competition. I think everyone's in it, so I don't see one dominant player. I would see it settling rather like it has done in other markets with a series of more effective players and the constant ebb and flow. I mean, these big investment banks come and go depending on the people and the atmosphere and the head office in relation to markets. So I think we'll see an ebb and flow with three or four uh, serious players stretching out. With Global Custodian, I'm Abby Knight.